Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Leash, also known as Monster Maker, and I do art videos here on YouTube. So in today's video, I am doing a little painting, trying out this cheap watercolor pen that I got off of Wish. I'm just going to begin by spraying it with a spray bottle of water just to activate the paint and make it easy to go through and do a palette on the paper that I plan to be painting on. So what this does is it gives you an accurate representation of what the colors will look like on your paper and you get a feel of how the, the art medium works and how it feels. So I noticed right away with this when I opened up the palette that the paints, while they were dry, they had this very powdery um, sort of finish to it, which is interesting because the other paints that I have, uh, my Schminke and um, other brands, they have a very smooth, glossy finish. So that's something that I noticed was different right away. And as I was painting out the colors onto the palette, I noticed that it had a very streaky, almost soapy feel to it. I don't know how to describe it, but you can sort of see it here. And maybe it's just me, maybe I'm spoiled and I'm used to using student or artist grade watercolors, which I have used for some time now, but um, yeah. So what I actually did for the first part of this is I sketched with a red Prismacolor color raised pencil, which you couldn't see in the footage, so I just deleted that anyway. <laughs> And I just did a bit of a sketch of a terrarium in a little bottle with some cute little plants just because I thought, I don't know, I was inspired to do that at the point because I'm a bit obsessed with plants at the moment. Isn't everyone though? <laughs> so you can't really see my sketch too much on here, but I'm going through and just sort of laying down the base colors for the different components of my terrarium, the different leaves and the colors and sort of figure out a way to make it interesting and yeah, get those those colors down. Oh, I forgot to mention the paintbrush I got with this set was absolutely poop. <laughs> I know it would be, so I went ahead and ordered at the same time a set of acrylic brushes. And these actually seem pretty good quality. Um, so far, none of the bristles have come out. Normally with cheap paint brushes, the bristles come out almost straight away and get onto your painting and it's a mess and you're trying to get them off and then you paint on your fingers. Anyway, it's not a fun time, but using these paint brushes are actually pretty good. So I'm really glad that I got them for this little cheap art challenge review thing. Um, and it means that I'll actually probably keep them in my collection and use them with my more expensive brushes as well. I'm very much a person that I use a whole bunch of different brushes. I prefer synthetic. I don't ever get um, animal hair brushes just because, you know, I like animals and I don't want them to be treated cruelly. And, and use for their fur or for their hair. <laughs> so yeah, going ahead, going ahead with this, I found it was really difficult to layer the paint and to blend it in the way that I was used to. So I feel like some of it is a bit cumbersome. I had to sort of go through and do layers, take some off, do some more layers. And um, and also I had a mini hairdryer, which I used to, to try and dry it between layers simply because I was just impatient. And uh, yeah, again, these, these just work very differently to the paints that I'm used to. I would have to say that these are pretty good quality for, for the price. A palette that has that many colors and looks nice and isn't too difficult to work with, I feel is worth the price that I paid. Again, if you want more information about that, I put in the description down below the link to where I got them on Wish. Um, Wish is weird in the sense that sometimes there'll be items listed on there a couple of different times from a couple of different sellers. And so perhaps the one I got might not have been the cheapest version, but I'll still link to it just in case. I've got a few of these videos up. I've just recently did a Copic marker alternatives video using some markers that I got from Wish for an incredibly cheap price. <laughs> I have to say, I feel like buying cheap supplies, they're really good if you don't have much money and if you're just starting out with art. Like if I had been a person I've never done watercolor before and I had bought this set, I would be really happy with it because it's easy to use. It has a lot of colors and just in a simple, easy pan form. And yeah, only thing is obviously the brush wasn't very good. So I had to buy some other ones, but it wasn't that much extra anyway. And I'm just using paper that I already had. I think it's a draw and wash paper. So like a mixed media paper that I just happen to have lying around. I didn't want to go through and try and buy paper off of Wish simply because <laughs> I hate cheap watercolor paper. Um, I feel like paper is your foundation of your painting or of your drawing and it kind of needs to be good quality. So, and I already have so much of it at home that I just wanted to use what I had. And I feel like it would give me a good, 
accurate representation of you know how the paints worked and so if things didn't go well it's more likely to be the paint than the paper and I would know that yeah, what I really love about these cheap art supply challenges is that it shows you don't need to have super expensive supplies to, to make good quality art. And I think that's what people kind of, you know, kind of think like, oh, I have to have the most expensive Copic markers, paints and things like that to have good artwork. And that's just simply not true. The best artists make do with what they have. And when you're starting out with art, sometimes you don't have a lot of money and you just got to still make stuff. I really hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do like these kind of videos, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll probably do more of them. I really enjoyed doing this and I would love to try out some more supplies for you guys. Anyway, I'm going to sign off now. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you in my next video, but until then, keep drawing.